If you guys just can pride yourselves away just for one second from the Cybertruck memes that they've been pretty much dominating the electric car community now, you would notice that there's actually a third choice for an all-electric truck that's coming in pretty much the same time as the Cybertruck and Rivian. But it, don't get me wrong, it was very exciting uh, to be at the unveiling. It was really exciting to talk about it, compare it to Rivian. And as we find out, they probably won't share the same audience. But just like I said, this truck, the B2 truck from Bollinger, is actually one of the choices. Now, I know it's priced much higher than even Rivian. Uh, that's priced higher than the Cybertruck. But I think there is a actually going to be a, a pretty decent sized community that would want this truck even at the $125,000 price tag. Now I've uh, had the CEO of Bollinger, Robert Bollinger on my show, no relations by the way, all right, maybe a little relations, but I, I've I've uh, I've had him on the show about a year ago. So, uh, and but this time around it was nice to catch up with him at the LA Auto Show, where I was a brand ambassador. So that was a lot of fun. And I gotta tell you, um, first of all, I really like this guy. I don't know if you watched the unveiling of these. Uh, of these trucks and uh, they have one SUV and one uh, pickup truck. Um, it was great to see how emotional he was uh, about this. It's obviously his life passion and um, you know, just kind of a working man CEO. And I was, I was walking around a lot at the auto show and between the, the main floor in the media room and the Bollinger booth was like right there. So I saw a lot of times that unlike other automakers, you know, Robert, uh, the CEO of the company was actually out there like, you know, cleaning up the car, making sure it's got no like uh, fingerprint marks and, and answering questions from customers. So it's just like, I really like what this guy is doing. And I can see people buying this truck from him because it's not like the Cybertruck or the Rivian truck. This is kind of like, you know, 1970s uh, <laughs> a, a truck met, uh, met, you know, the electric car revolution that we, they're, we're in the middle of right now. Um, this cars, you know, these trucks, they look rugged. They are definitely for for an off-road experience. They got about 200 mile range uh, in them and a lot of interesting features. Now, of course, a lot of questions that I had for him was like, well, what's up with this price? Right, and his answer actually surprised me, man. He's really honest, and and then also I asked him like, well, what kind of customers gonna be buying this, right? Because I mean, the price is out there, but it is a kind of working man's truck, and and it was also interesting. Um, how many of what the percentage, the ratio between reservations that they're getting for the SUV version versus the pickup truck version. So all of this, uh, it was a very interesting conversation. We're just kind of hanging out on the back of his uh, uh, B2 pickup truck. And <laughs> there was a monitor right in our face, just so you know, when our faces change color for no reason, just, just because of the humongous monitor of faces. So uh, yeah, it's, it, you guys gonna enjoy this. Before that, of course, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Climate Exchange and check out their Tesla raffle is back. Only 4,000 tickets are going to be sold. And even if you don't win the up to $195,000 version of Tesla with any configuration, uh, you would still be donating money to a really good cause. So go to the description of this video and uh, go ahead and enter the raffle at uh, carbonraffle.org. All right. So without further ado, this is my interview with Bollinger CEO, Robert Bollinger at the LA Auto Show. Yeah, you know, um, I don't know if you've been here last year, but do you know, do you, do you remember what was right here in this booth? Yes, a big tank thing. It right. was a huge, the biggest gas guzzler of the show, and now an all-electric pickup truck. Right, right, right. We were here two years ago with the two-door in this same spot. We weren't here last year, and then now we're back, yeah. I, I, the times are changing. Times are changing. It's a big sea change of, of from the first time we were out. People are like, wait, I don't get it. What's going on? Where's where's the engine? And now everyone's like, oh, electric, yeah. Tell me what's the, you know, and they start going into normal, normal questions. You know what I mean? They just want to know the specs, how far. Yeah, what can it do? The questions have gotten smarter in the last couple of years, yes. I have to say. Um, all right, well, so you guys literally just recently unveiled uh, both of these, and um, you were pretty emotional uh, at the at the uh, at the <laughs> event. Uh, tell us a little bit about the personal story that's behind. Why right. why so much emotions from you? Oh, um, I try to keep them in uh, under control, but like you know, if you see the one uh, from 2017, I almost I was about to lose it. Uh, that was a little bit more. Uh, well, anyone understand what we're trying to do here kind of thing. So since then, we that reveal, we had you know 36,000 people online loving it and um, raising their hand. So the second time around, it was uh, it was easier, but uh, to get up in front and talk to people. But it's it's so much so much work, it's so much effort from the whole team. We had spent three months 
of seven days a week, 18 hour days. Everyone in the company bu helped build the prototypes. We built them ourselves in house. So to have that was such a, a joyous time and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, it's all personal for me. My name's on it. Uh, I'm, I'm doing nothing else but this. You know, I'll live or die based on this. So it's all, it's always emotional, I guess, for me. I mean, you're very hands-on. I literally was walking by this booth yesterday, and unlike other brands that have like you know models, you know, washing right. their cars, you were with the rag there oh, yeah. taking care of the truck. I'm very concerned about fingerprints. <laughs> Fair enough. Have, we do have spokespeople that we are will handle the show during the week, but uh, yeah, right now I'm I'm here making sure they're here, talking to wonderful people like you, and uh, taking care of the trucks. Yeah. Well, so uh, you have a, a pickup truck that we're kind of chilling on the back of right now and the um, SUV. Uh, which one is getting kind of more uh, attention? Because I've heard there's a, it's a big week for pickup trucks this week. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, we announced our price point a few weeks ago, right? And uh, are taking deposits online. So it's about an 80-20 split of the people who have been ordering it. And we have about three quarters of our first year production already sold. So that's a really nice thing. We found our audience who's yeah. uh, who knows what's in the in the truck and willing to pay for it and so but it's overwhelmingly the b1 for sure okay. the, the the pickup truck that we're on the right B1 now is the suv oh they yeah oh yeah the b2 is a pickup truck and so i think because of its off-road capability they both have the great off-road capabilities they all have the same it's the same vehicle from the nose to the c pillar right so they all have great the same capabilities all wonderful but i think there's a lot more people who want to use these trucks for off-road so they maybe they go to the to the SUV. So you mentioned about finding your audience. Now obviously this is not the truck for those people who like f flat screens inside. This right. is pretty you know rugged there right. um, and then you know you've announced the price and you surprised some people I have to oh, say yeah. I oh, yeah. had to wipe myself, myself off the floor first. first and then and then uh, totally yeah when we started putting it together a while ago of what the cost of this would be because what we did when we originally created the truck was like let's just make put everything in it that we want it to be right I definitely wanted to be electric right off the bat because electric is best for in every way as you know but especially for trucks but portal gear hubs making our own gear boxes two motors you know, 120 kilowatt hour back, which is huge. It's expensive to make. And we're like, all right, what do we do now? And I was like, well, what if we just are honest about it? Our whole company's been about being honest. Here's the, here's the price point. You know, we want to be able to cover the cost of making them. We want to not have to have 10 years of losses. You know, we want to be a, a viable business that covers our costs in a few years and, and, and keep going and keep innovating. So then, then based on that, uh, who is your, audience now that you're kind of finding out with the are these people who just you know want to take it off road and really really kind of use it and abuse it or are those people who just want to you know cruise down the street with a truck that could right. go off road right, right. are you finding that out yeah, a little we've bit from we've heard from all different sides because uh What's interesting about a truck is it's kind of like three different worlds that come together, right? You have the, the utilitarian side where it's a class three truck and can hold 5,000 pounds. You can put boards through the down the side, you can down the middle, um, plywood, all that, that world. And then you have the off-road capable truck. You know, you might just want to only take it off-road all the time. And then you have the people who might just want it because of the way it looks or because it's green or they just want to use it as their daily driver. So we have all three of those who have bought the truck and we're, we're talking to them now, our sales directors, is getting to know everyone. I'm going to be sending a letter out to everybody to thank them, you know. So, um, yeah, I think it's it's I think it's finding those three people that that we originally were thinking about when we put it together. Well, uh, it, that it, answers your question. That might have been. <laughs> no, 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 it does answer. I mean, uh, yeah, all of the above. Yeah, I get it. All uh, and you didn't mean three people. You mean three types of three yeah. types of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more. So you said it's what one third sold out already for the yeah, first year. About two, th uh, about three quarters sold out. So we're oh. we're going very low volume at first. That's part of the issue behind the cost but uh, we're looking at a thousand fifteen hundred for the first year so we have a lot of that already sold once you guys are ramped up what do you think the volume is going to be uh, then it's just organically growing from there so after the two after the four doors come out we want to go back and, and bring back the two doors of both and that'll mean either a smaller battery pack because it'll be shorter trucks or um, maybe the next generation batteries will be in it you know and they could be smaller the pickup truck right now at its current wheelbase we can make a two-door version of that so we want to do that next so and then when's the first delivery 2021 all right are you the ones are you the first customer I'm the number one line in the in the list, yeah. So oh, if it's your name on it, you should be right. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, listen. I'm really excited. It's been a long road, and yeah. it's good to see that you guys are doing so well. And here at the Lay Auto Show, um, 
what's next? Tell us uh, what what are you guys doing in the next year or so, and will 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 we see you guys uh, here again? Uh, we'll see. Uh, what we have to do right after the show is these trucks go back to Michigan and they go to the Upper Peninsula and they start doing all their winter testing. So even though they're show cars, they're fully operational. You know, next step towards production cars. So we have to test the heck out of them. Uh, we're going to be announcing our manufacturing partner soon, and then we'll build our DVs, and then that, those really go through the ringer. So all of next year is development and testing and testing and testing and testing and testing. All right. Well, I genuinely enjoy talking to uh, to Robert, and I hope you see that this is definitely going to be a very different type of a customer uh, than Rivian and Cybertruck customer. Let me know in the comment section if you could be one of them. Uh, uh, does the price bother you? What are the features in this truck that you like that you don't see in the Cybertruck and Rivian? Uh, R1T uh, because there are quite a few I believe uh, and by the way there's quite a few different behind the scenes uh, videos and pictures of this truck and mini and a lot of other things that I've seen at the layout auto show the uh, cyber truck unveiling and just all of this travels that I've been doing if you want to see more of that of course follow me uh, on Instagram and by the way this video is uh, being streamed live on patreon that's the perk uh, that you have when you're a patreon of this channel I want to welcome one of my newer ones uh, Cyril, thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. You know, I'm a full-time YouTuber. This is what I do for a living. And obviously, uh, the support from you guys and my sponsors is how I make my living. So I really appreciate it. If you want to become uh, one of my Patreons, go ahead and go to the description of this video or patreon.com slash electric. And another thing that you can find there is our VIP list. You can sign up for free and uh, we will send you an exciting electric car story that we just couldn't fit in on this channel or on our e4electric.com website but we'll just shoot it right into your inbox every saturday so go to the description of this video just to e4electric.com slash vip and sign up for that newsletter all right looking forward to your comments other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged